We start with a Friday deadline just five days from now for the governor and legislature to rearrange our election calendar or potentially trigger a chaotic finish to the race for the White House. Joining us now to explain the problem, who's affected, and how to solve it is Maricopa County Supervisor Bill Gates. Welcome back to Square Off. Thanks for having me. Uh, for background, Arizona's 15 counties run our elections. They are the ones, you are the ones, who have been pushing for a solution since when? About September, I think? That's right. And so here we are. I have to ask, how real is this deadline? We often see deadlines in politics. Will there be consequences if this law, and we'll get to the, the guts of this in a minute, if this election calendar isn't rearranged by Friday? Yes, this is a real issue. Friday is the absolute drop dead date that we need changes in the calendar to make sure that our service members overseas can get their ballots in time for the general election and so that Arizona's presidential election can be certified in time. Why, why Friday though? Yeah, because Friday, that gives us, because one of the things that has to happen at this point, Bram, is that we need to have the primary date moved up seven days. So in order to accomplish that, we need to get going immediately on that. That's why February 9th is the drop dead date. Okay, I'm going to ask uh, our producer to put up a soundbite from Governor Katie Hobbs last week, what she told reporters about that primary being moved up seven days from August into July. Can we get that up now? I'm not willing to do anything that compromises uh, Arizonans' access to the ballot. Uh, and at this point, we're not, It's we can't move the primary now. That means moving every single filing date and every other deadline. Uh, and I think we're well past the point that that can actually happen. We can't move the primary now. We're well past the point where that could happen. I think you've seen that quote. What does that tell you? If, if you're saying, moving it up is a must, she's saying no. Where does this stand with the governor? Yeah, so, Bram, we're very close to an agreement between the governor, the legislature, legislative leadership, and the counties. Uh, I, I believe that this can get done. Uh, I, I'm confident of that, and I don't believe that it is too late. Look, again, I know the governor, as the former Secretary of State, she has a lot of experience working with the counties on elections. She trusts the counties, and she knows that when we say we need this, we need it. So, I mean, her spokesman told me she was just kind of stating her personal feelings. Didn't sound that way at the time, uh, but we are where we are. Let's go back to the beginning, explain to folks why our elections are in this predicament. Yeah, so the reason that we're in this situation is because the, the recount a standard was changed back in 2022. So now it's if a uh, an election is within a half of a percent, we have a, an automatic recount. The first election that this was in effect was in the general election in 2022. And we had three races that went to an automatic recount. So we think it's highly likely, given how close our elections are here in Arizona, that we will have automatic recounts both in the primary and in the general election, and that takes time. And so as a result, we need the calendar changed. The calendar wasn't changed when the recount law was changed. If we can get the changes we're asking for, 19 days for the primary and 17 days for the general, we can avert the problems that we're concerned about. And moving up the primary gets you makes the math work for you. Absolutely, we need those seven days. And just a bit of ba background on this recount law, it was a response to the very close Biden-Trump race in 2020. And if that recount law had been in effect in 2020, there would have been a recount. That's correct, there, election. there would have been. And I wanna be clear, all 15 counties, by the way, that are all in agreement that these changes need to occur to the election calendar, we're not opposed to these recounts. We think it's a good check and balance. We're just saying that we need these calendar changes so that voters aren't disenfranchised. One of the questions I get a lot is, well, why not just repeal the recount law? Why not? That, that's not the position we're taking. We're, this is something that was passed by the legislature, signed by the governor. There's a fix to this that allows the recounts to still occur that you know people are asking for, but we can change the calendar to make sure. This is all about the voters, Bram. This isn't about the county elections, it's about the voters. And the voters need these changes by next Friday. We need the governor to, 
to lead on this issue. And military voters, as you point out uh, in particular, uh, there's some finger pointing going on about Republicans. The governor has said, we want a clean bill. I believe county representatives have said, we want a clean bill that deals just with this issue. Are Republicans trying to jam more into whatever legislation comes before them? So there are some people who would like to see other issues put on as part of this, as, as part of some sort of omnibus bill. It's very important that there be a clean bill. I'm confident that legislative leadership is gonna put that clean bill forward and that the governor is gonna sign a clean bill. But it's gotta be a clean bill. Like you said, the deadline is next Friday. A lot of people are gonna be out at Phoenix Open. This has got to get done next Friday. And actually has to start by Wednesday to get it through the machinery of the legislature and get the emergency clause so it takes effect right away. So Agreed. really, it's even sooner than that. Yeah, we'd love to see a bill introduced tomorrow. Tomorrow. Right. All right, we'll <laughs> see if that happens. Maricopa County Supervisor Bill Gates, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you.